explosion, Seattle, the UN laurel wreath, the fascist wreath. Here it is. Also used by that shill group, Anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> That's who they are, they're such idiots. Anyway, there you go, look, communism, sickle and hammer, pentagram, the fasche. That's what it is. United Nations. Right in your face, just do that again. See the explosion. There you go. Anyway, that's not what I want to talk about in this uh, this video. Uh, Misconcealed reality. Um, she was mentioning from my controlled uh, future video that um, with all these dystopian films and TV series they come out with in the last few years. Oh, of course, it's, it's Zionist Masonic mockery of us, you know, showing you the their plans for the NWO, new Bolshevik revolution of theirs, communism. And last night I caught a few seconds of an advert for this show, Frankie Boyle's New World Order. I mean, you, you just... Yeah, yeah there, there really is a show called that. Because they want to habituate you to these terms. Yeah. Like Big Brother. The Big Brother show. And this. They want to put it into your head so it becomes the norm. So you tacitly somehow accept it. Take a look at this Khazar. Red mane. With the dark rimmed glasses, like I always say, the beard and the dark rimmed glasses, and it's, it's even red, red as well. Turkish Khazar Jewish person. Ignore the name. Ignore the accent. Yeah? This is to get you to just get used to the term New World Order and accept it, to, to accept your own slavery, your own poverty. November the 11th will be the PSYOP, of course, for that. Uh, yeah. The Zionists, like you, they do hate us. It's all in nice gay Masonic pink. I'll agree with that one. May Maya Myers. Major. John Major. Major. Maya, Myers, May, all the same name. The anatomy of a Khazar. A Turkish, young Turk, yeah? Khazar, Zionist Jewish person. Oh, do they hate Brexit? I do enjoy the way they hate Brexit. Interesting. Last ever general election. Again, another hint. Shattered union hint. Anyway, so, like Miss says, Miss Concealed Reality, she said, you know, these dystopian films are to get you habituated to this nightmare future. Let's go through um, Big Brother, right? Again, there's a rap, uh, hip-hop rap, and it goes, Big Brother is not just a TV show. That's damn right, it's not. It's there to get you habituated to the term Big Brother and to relate it to some banal lesbian and gay freak fest and, and not what it actually is, the new Bolshevik revolution. This is... China's first ever gay big brother. Yeah, China. Here's the UK one. What a freak show that was. Is, I don't know if it's still going, but oh my goodness me. It was just one, one gay and lesbian person and transsexual person 
transgender person after the, the other. There you go. And it's putting that eye of the anus in front of you all the time. Eye of Lucifer, eye of anus. At least the freaks, that's what it's all about. Another red mane here. The Vena McCall. With her devil horns tattoo around her loins. Yeah, the eye of the anus. Very well. Yeah, it is the anus, isn't it, huh? It is. That's what it really is. Every single symbol and code word of Freemasonry means gay. Simple as that. This looks dodgy. Looks dodgy as hell. Look at the red V there. Intergenerational fairness. Citizens are increasingly worried that their children may end up worse off than their parents. Citizens. That's very Hunger Games, isn't it? But it's something. There's something behind this. It's, it's like to do away with, um, you know, uh, inheritance and, and and you know, take everything away from the current generation. It's a nightmare. Yeah, key film. The stack and packs. The nightmare future. You're seeing it right now. One and two bedroom flats being built everywhere for the slaves. They'll make tons of money off those uh, service charges. Because when you buy a flat, you, you're, you've got a gun to your head nowadays. A service charge, which you have to pay. You think you own it? Well, you still have to pay that service charge, and it's thousands per year. Oh, they're going to make tons of money off it. But this is your stack and pack, you see. This is your, your nightmare future. And the Hunger Games. Again, sectors, districts. Look, America's split into sectors, districts. Divide and conquer. Look at the, the Zionist mockery here. Happy Hunger Games. Hunger Games is, is communism. On the screen. It's the NWO on the screen. The exact NWO. District 13. Again, you've got the 13. The 13 sectors, the 13 tribes. Yeah, I was just watching the original Battlestar Galactica and it was all going on about the 13 tribes again. And of course, the Freemason, Satanic Mormons in Salt Lake City, the Church of the Latter day Saints, it's all Jewish Freemasonry. Capitol. Yeah, Rome's in it, but they're a bunch of Zionists. The communist, Zionist, same thing. Look. Look at the logo. What did I just show you at the beginning? The fascist, communist, UN laurel wreath. Yeah, and you see this everywhere. Freemasonry. Square and compass nonsense. Fascist. Yeah, this is the fascist, isn't it? Because you've got that with the the fasche. Yeah, you have actually. Hold on, let me, let me see. Let me see. Where is it? It's a hammer and sickle. Yeah, it's just communism. Let's have a look at a couple more images before I. Sign off this one. What's she throwing up? Uh, doing a three fingered baphomet there. How nice. Yeah, it's this. It's all the police state future. I mean, you've already got the army and the police on, on the streets. In Europe, you've got, you've got army on the streets with, with high powered automatic weapons. Based on hoaxes by the Zionists. It's already here. I'm sure a ton of people are going to be in denial. Yeah, throw up those Baphomets. Go on. Oy vey. Yeah, there, there it is again. 
Pacific Rim, I've shown you, it's the same logo, UN fascist, fasche, look, it's even got the fasche things here, it's exactly the same, yeah, and the arrows, yeah, the eagle of communism, there you go, there you go, couldn't be more clear, could it? Communism again. Jewish Bolshevik communism. And the Hunger Games. It's the Hunger Games logo and it's the Pacific Rim logo as well. I've shown you that. Anyway, I'll stop that one there.